what's going on? It's your girl Mathena here back at it again with another Kirby in the Forgotten Land Let's Play video. And another video in the 60 Minutes of Gaming a Week Challenge. Uh, last episode, we uh, defeated Gormundo and explored the Everbay Coast. And um, now we've got the Tropical Terror we need to take care of. But before we do that, we have two treasures uh like treasure roads that we're actually able to access right now we can't access this one because we don't have the right cut well we have the cutter copy ability we don't have the upgraded one that's required to do this so we will have to go back to complete that one um but we do have two that we are able to do so we're gonna go ahead and knock those out if you guys like what you see consider leaving a like commenting subscribing ringing that bell you know to join the notification station the whole shebang shabu the whole kit and kaboo if you all know what i mean ultimately the choice is up to you with all that stuff out of the way let's begin we got the normal treasures sweet success invincible rampage target time is 30 seconds let's see if we can actually do that I don't know if we can or not, but we're going to try. Okay, not off to a great start. All right, yes. Oh, I love this. I, I don't know if we made the target time. I don't know. Um, oh, 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 29.69. Nice. Oh, that is, oh, that is good. That is, oh man, that was great. All right, now we have one last uh, treasure road to do right here. The volcano fire treasure. The target time is one minute. What do you think? Can we go two for two? I think we can. Let's uh, light them up lantern switches. Owie. All right, come on. No, bye. All right, come on. Leave me alone, good sir. Please and thank you. All right. Oh god, that's a lot. Come on. Yeah, I don't think I made the target time, but... I don't know. Uh, be better if my aim was good. That's what she said. I had a feeling, like I said, my aim was not that good. All right. Now that we have completed the Volcano Fire Treasure, let's go ahead and take on the Tropical Terror. All right. Let's go. Oh, what the heck? Is that a... Holy smokes. <laughs> I did it. What the... This game just became Elden Ring. Alright, here we go. Um, 
I don't like Needle. Out of all of these, I really like Volcano Fire, so that's the one I'm going to do. We're here to rescue you! Ugh. The Unfriendly Fronds, Tropic Woods. See, my thing with this is, it, if they're going to do a uh, Wispy Woods, then why not just have Wispy Woods? Ah, how I love doing chip damage. Oh, wow. Damn. Oh, destroy Tropic Woods roots. Ooh, all right, we're almost there. Ow! Okay, all right, all right, come on. Boom! And just like that. Oh no, there's even a little teardrop. I didn't even notice that. The Noble Ranger Blueprint. Now that's what I like to see. And what was that little clear within two minutes? Dang, nice. All right, what was clear without course? Because this is supposed to be like the like I said, it's the wispy woods, and you don't. Uh, that's like it's like. Mm, okay, I see. I see how it's gonna be. Okay. Okay, I see. All right, on to. Oh no! Wait, I guess we're heading back to Waddle D Town. Hey, yes. Well, the wise Waddle Dee has arrived in town. He'll give you tips to find missing blueprints and a whole lot more. That's pretty cool. No. Oh. Hey, you need to talk to me? Yeah, what's up? Say, hey, what do you think the Beast Pack wants the Waddle Dees for anyways? I... I had just gotten to know all of them when the pack arrived and started capturing everyone. We're far from the beast's territory, so we thought building a town here would keep us safe. Thank goodness you came along, Kirby. All right, so that's an interesting question. All right, so all of these Waddledees, right, they, they built this town, this civilization, and then the beast pack um, came and attacked. Um, and all the bosses that we're fighting are part of the be beast pack, Except for Tropic Woods. I think for some weird reason, Tropic Woods is not part of the Beast Pack. Well, I mean, obviously it's not a beast, but I feel like they could have done something different. I don't know. But, um, what was I saying? So, these Waddle Dees had enough time to build a town, a civilization, and Elflin had enough time to get to know all of the Waddle Dees. So, my question is... Does time pass differently? So, like, if the Waddle Dees were sucked in, and, um, you know, if they were sucked in before Kirby, has a lot more time passed? It's a very interesting theory. Um, I've got a, I actually have another theory for this game 
but um, I can't say it because it involves endgame stuff. New stock, I just added the crash ability, enjoy. Added the hammer ability, added the tornado, added the drill, added the sleep. Okay, I get it. Added the needle. Wow, you have so many new blueprints to give me. All right, let me get my tools tools ready and we'll get this evolution started. Oh God. Uh, Ranger can be evolved. Bomb can be evolved. <laughs> evolved. Uh, needle can be evolved. Really? That's it? Um, I thought there was, wait a minute. I have all the copy abilities. I have all of the copy abilities. I didn't have all the copy abilities on my first playthrough. I was missing sleep for a while, and then I saw one of those um, enemies, and I was like, oh, they look so cute, and I was being funny, and I was gonna suck one up and like spit it out. But then it, um, but then I got that ability, and I started falling asleep. I'm like, whoa, hey, what the heck? And then it like healed my health in my, and I was like, well, dang, that's pretty cool. But I never knew the crash ability existed until uh, last episode. So we're definitely going to evolve Ranger into Noble Ranger. And boom. Now Kirby isn't just packing heat. He's packing two heats. All right, and cutter can be upgraded. Bomb can be upgraded. Needle can be upgraded. We'll upgrade those later. Right now, I want to pack some heat and go explore the next area. Yeah. All right, and the next, oh yeah, <laughs> I love this world. The Wandaria Remains. You defeated the boss and opened up a new area. Oh, I love this world so much. Welcome to Wandaria. Oh, like I said, I love this. Like, all of the levels here are so great. And I love the whole abandoned amusement park theme. Oh, God, it's so good. Oh, there, little ducky. Oh God, this is adorable. Oh, now that I I could not. Oh, that was that was awesome. All right. Popcorn, another ducky. There's another duck around here. Right there, hi there. All of you, follow me back to your mama. I already, I only, I already knew that one existed. Oh, I'm missing one. I thought that was all of them, but okay. Ow, hi. Didn't see you coming. Okay, uh, Fifth Ducky, where are you? Oh, hi, there you are. I didn't even notice you there. There we go. Help the lost ducklings find their mama. Yay. I love happy endings. Okay, that time my hand slipped. There we go. Like I said, you know, I love the Forgotten Land so much. Like, this is one of Kirby's best, well, no. 
This isn't one of Kirby's best games. This is the best Kirby game. Then again, I have heard great things about Planet Robobot, and I have not played Planet Robot or Robobot yet. You know, I find it's ooh Planet Robobot that it, and DS games in general that leads me into uh, a nice little segue. Um, I do not like that Nintendo is going to be shutting down the eShop. Um, the Wii U, I can understand. The Wii U, well, I don't like to think of the Wii U as a failure. Did it suck? Yeah. Like, the the gamepad, like, the, the whole thing with the gamepad was, oh, you can play your games without having to be hooked up to the TV. That's really great. But you couldn't take it on the go, and that's what sucked. Because it was like... Well, what's the point of having the gamepad then? Oh, hi. Oh god, not these again. Okay, come on. Huzzah! And that was the first Waddle Dee. I was kind of worried I missed one there for a minute. Anyways, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, you couldn't take the Wii U with you, like, on the go. It had to be in the same house, basically, which kind of sucked. Um, so I can understand them not really wanting to do things for the Wii U anymore. But come on, the Nintendo 2D and 3DS, while well, yes, the 3DS uh, did not start off great. I mean, the, its price, its huge price uh, kind of was uh, not really a good thing, and then they had the price cut, but then after the price cut, things started picking up for the 3DS. And, you know, I used to own a, re I, in fact, I still have my 2DS. Um, and then I had bought a 2DS XL, um, you know, because I wanted the, I wanted an actual foldable screen and then, um, let's see here. Oh, yeah. For, I was an idiot and gave away my 2DS. And it, I can't, like, it was an exchange for some games or something. Like, I was trying to buy some stuff. And, uh, one of my friends, uh, you know, one of my friends was interested in my 3DS. And he gave me some of his games that he wasn't playing anymore. And then, um, uh, so, and then... You know, I was trying to find a way to, you know, pay him back for his games. Uh, and so, apparently, the only way I decided to pay him back was to give him my 2DS. Because he was showing interest in my 2DS. And I was like, oh, hey, oh, god damn it. Anyways, no, that's not what I was like. I was not like, god damn it. Uh, anyways. Uh... But, you know, I was like, oh, hey, I have my Switch now, so I'm just going to give this to you. Well, I I had my games on there. I had games like Stella Glow, which is a really great, um, art, uh, well, it's not RTS. It's a turn-based uh, strategy game uh, that I really wish they would put on the Switch. I think it would do really great on the Switch. It was made by Atlas, so the same people who did um, Persona, you know. A lot of, like, the really good games. The Shinigami Tensei uh, games. Yeah, a lot of, like, really good games. So, I feel like if they ported Stella Glow to the Switch, I feel like it would do pretty good. I never got to beat the game. Which sucks, because the premise behind it is so darn cool. Basically, it's like, you know, people... Like, people can't sing. Nobody can sing. They... Um, due to some big thing that happened, nobody's able to sing, uh, except for these, um, witches. And I was like, okay, that concept seems pretty cool. And when I, so I had played the demo, because there was a demo available on the Nintendo 2DS, or 3DS eShop, and I was like, okay, I'll try it out. And I fell head over heels for it. I loved it. And so, you know, after I beat the demo, I was basically like, shut up and take my money. I bought an eShop gift card and I bought the game because it was real, like I said, it was really good. Um, 
I bought the game, like I said, never beat it. I also had Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. It, can I like not, okay, there we go. Anyways, what was I saying? I also had, not Ultra Sun, I had Ultra Moon, and while yes, I had beaten the game and the post game, um, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to 100% the Pokedex and, uh, Shiny Hunt. Oh, pooey. No, I, oh, wait, no, there's, uh, Water Spout right there. Um, but then there was other games that I had, too, that I really wanted to play. And now, you know, since they don't make the, the 2DS XL anymore, they don't make any of the, the 3D or 2DSs, um, it's either pay an arm and a leg from someone on eBay or Amazon or Facebook Marketplace. It's either pay an, uh, pay an arm and a leg. Oh, what the? Oh, hey, what'll be? Um, it's either pay an arm and a leg for that or, um, you know, go to, like, a place like, well, here in Virginia, we have uh, a store called Video Game Heaven. Uh, and they have everything from Atari to the Series X and S. It's really cool. Oh, hello. That was, that was pretty cool. Anyways. <laughs> he just spits out all the water. Anyways, um, but yeah, Nintendo deciding to shut down the eShop. Hell, they've already made it so you can't use your credit or debit. Enjoy the view from the top of the rocket. What the hell? Why do I keep missing all this stuff? Anyways, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, um, like, I can't use my debit card on the eShop anymore, so now I have to buy eShop cards, or at least I hope I can still add eShop cards. If I can't, I'm gonna be really upset, because then that means I have to either try and find a game at a place like Video Game Heaven. Not a lot of GameStops have the, um, not a lot of GameStops have the, what is this? Okay, Hammer Treasure. Not a lot of GameStops have 3DS games anymore. So it's either Video Game Heaven, which is actually a pretty safe bet, because they do have a lot of, uh, ow, stop. Anyways, uh, they have a lot, like I said, they have everything from Atari all the way to, um, they have Atari all the way to, um, Xbox Series X and S and PS5. You know, so, it, there's a good chance that the game that I'm looking for is there. But if somehow, some way, like, if I can't find, say, Planet Kirby Robobot. Or, Kirby Planet Robobot. Kirby Planet Robobot, what the hell. Anyways, um, if I can't find that game, or, um, what other games? Uh, or, like... I, well, actually, I don't know, I don't remember if Stella Glow was a, um, uh, online exclusive, or, like, a digital only exclusive, or if it was, oh, God, not you guys, and they expect me to whack these things, just playing a game of whack fuck here, whack fuck, anyways, um, what was I, what was I going on about, oh, yeah, I don't know, if, I can't remember if Stella Glow was a, um, digital exclusive uh so if it is i have to go on the eShop. and if i can't buy a switch if i can't add stuff to a switch gift card well then i'm gonna be pretty upset okay they seriously expect me to beat this in like a minute and 30 seconds and then they have a boss fight at the end really that's not cool at least now we're at the halfway point. Where he, AKA where he uses his hammer as a flipping pogo stick. Anyways, um, but yeah, I don't like what Nintendo's doing, but ultimately it's their company. And, you know, I just hope that, uh, you know, they port some of the better 3DS games. Oh God, 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 frick, frick, frick. Haha, <laughs> now you're dizzy. Nope. Oh, thank God. Okay, that's over, and I almost died. I know I definitely did not make the target time. Anyways, um, 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, they expect you to beat this in one minute and 20 seconds. Hell no. Anyways. Oh, frick. What was... Oh, yeah. I don't like what Nintendo's doing. Um, ultimately, it is their company. I just hope that they port over some of the good games. I can say that the one good thing... Oh, God. Okay. Um, I can say that the one good thing that's going to come out of um, them doing that is that po uh, Pokemon Bank is going to become free. So that's, uh, that's always nice. Okay, come on. Ooh, whoa. See, if this thing supported Gyro, that would be pretty cool. Holy smokes, all of these things are just wrapped on my, uh, wrapped on my big old thing. I wonder, I, that was pretty fast. I wonder if I made the target time. 38. Are you kidding me? Anyways. Well, we got another rare stone, so that's always nice. And now, oh, my favorite level out of the entire game. I love this one. The Circuit Speedway. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, non-binary friends as well. I'm about to show you, cause I'm about to show you how to uh, get the the number one times on these things. So, first off, mouthful, obviously, you know. I love that for this specific level, the mouthful mode is um, different. All right, so it says that the target time is 25 seconds. I don't know. I can't remember if I got the target time on this one. I know I got the target time on the second one. Okay, so goal. Do not uh, hit as little enemies and objects as possible. They slow you down. Also, obviously, avoid the oil. And obviously, if it wasn't obvious, hold down the boost button. That was kind of risky, but... Oh my gosh! Really? Oh, Thankfully, they give us the ability to try again. And I'm going to try that again because holy crap, that is not fair. I was like one, uh, like one second off. All right, let's try this again. If I don't make it this time, I'm going to try one more time. And, uh, and then if I don't make it then, then I'm just going to have to deal with it. Okay, like I said, avoid enemies, don't steer in the grass, steer clear of the oil. Okay, and then, boom, boom. Come on. Oh, let's go. Oh, that was, that was awesome. I think that ramp was a trick. All right, there we go. All right. All right, let's just avoid you guys and go through here. Alright, always, whenever they give you an ability right here, always expect that it has something to do with, uh, something. That was very specific, I know. That thing just went right around the mushroom and hit the porcupine, that's kind of funny. Aha, that's why. Secret. Secret. 
Oh God, first try. I was not expecting that. Once again, went around this room. All right, there we go. Okay. Like, one of the... Uh, real quick. Just one of the biggest gains that I hope that... And like, obviously I said that I want Stella Glow on the Nintendo Switch. Because I think it would work really well. Um, but another thing that... Uh, another game that I think would... Well, there's... Obviously, there's a lot of games that could work really well. Um, the... I mean, as much as I would really love the Mario and Luigi games, because the well, the only Mario and Luigi game I played was Bowser's Inside Story as a kid, um, and then you know I I had heard at, slash saw that they had a remake for the oh, all right, Invincible Candy. I was not expecting this. I thought there was only one Invincible Candy in the whole game, and that was at the mall. Don't mind if I do. I'm sorry, what? Did I just... Okay, and then... Oh, okay, the giant... Uh, the giant sword ability. Nice. Did I just two-shot the boss? Or, it's not really a boss, it's a mini-boss. But, uh, did I just two-shot the mini-boss? That... That was awesome. That was awesome. Anyways, uh, Stella Glow would be great. Um, the Mario and Luigi games, um, I think... They, I think one of my, uh, like, Bowser's Inside Story, I don't know how that one would work. Uh, maybe switch camera perspectives by, like, pressing a button, like the plus or the minus button. Alright, this one I n definitely know how to get the, uh, the gold on. So first, you just, you don't even go through there. Technically, it's better if you go through the boxes, uh, but some of them are a little bit out of the way. You also don't do that! Oh, God, I, I may not get the gold. Just because of that, like, some of this stuff has to be pixel perfect. See? And then you do that, and then once again, try to avoid falling off. Okay, and then... Once again, try not to hit the enemies, because, uh... They slow you down a little bit. And, yeah, I had a feeling. But don't worry, though, because we can easily just retry. Alright, boom. And, yes, retry. We're gonna, yes, we are definitely gonna do that again. Because that was... Alright, let's go. Alright, so, once again, you jump off here. You go around the enemies. If worse comes to worse and you have to hit them, okay. But try your best not to. It's like I said, they slow you down and sometimes a couple of milliseconds. And I didn't even, like, I didn't even, like see that until the last minute. Okay, time to keep my mouth shut. Okay. Oop. Okay. Damn it. Damn it! Okay. Come on. Two seconds off. Are you freaking kidding me? Okay. All right. All right. That's fine. Third. Damn it. No. Yes. All right. Third tries the charm, right? 
That's what they always say. Third try is the charm. Okay, where was it? Right there. Oh! Oh, I did not. I wasn't even expecting to make that. I did not think I was going to make that. All right, yep. And then, once again, avoid these guys. Jump here. Ramp. And then, oh, let's go. All right, boost through the cardboard show. That was another one of the, the things. Nice. And, oh, God. Just when I thought that we were going to, like, 100% complete my favorite level. I missed a gosh darn waddle dee. <laughs> All right, reach the within twenty seconds. Oh God, that's a bandana waddle dee. Uh, was pulled through the vortex along with Kirby when he heard that his fellow Waddle Dees were being captured by the Beast Pack. He grabbed his trusty spear and ran to help. Uh, Dome Mouth Kirby. Uh, Shotso. They literally named a cannon. That is, uh, that's interesting. All right, the next one, Invasion at the House of Horrors. I said horrors, not what you thought I said. All right, and we have a treasure road, so, ooh, cutter, all right. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and line them up, toss and return. Oh, okay. Damn it. Now. Oh, Pooey. Wait for it. Ha ha! Oh boy. Okay. Dang it! Okay, this is going to be hard. Oh, thank God. Okay, I thought I was going to be on that for a while. Yeah, I don't think I made the target time, but... Yo, yeah, definitely not. I, I hate it when, they, when it does that. Like, come on. All right, we've got ourselves another rare stone and another treasure is complete. Oh. Ooh, a hidden portal to a treasure road. This one is Pipe Mouth. Nice. All right, now I gotta... I gotta look around and... Oh. Nice, we got another one. And let's see what this one is. Oh, oh, it's Ring Mouth. 
Okay, that that's nice. Um, and that's the needle. Oh, hey, some coins. That's that's always nice. I got them. Nope. All right. Next up, the invasion at the House of Horrors. All right. First off, that looks absolutely amazing. Just gonna click. Onward and yonward. I gotta say, the music here is pretty catchy. I really should have upgraded the sword before I got here, but hey, it's okay. Let's go ahead and... Okay, there we go. It... Nope. All right. Stop right there, you big thumper. Ooh, hey, secret. Oh, oh, oh no. I think I need to break open the crate. Yep. Hey. I don't think I rescued that Waddle Dee back in my original playthrough. I'm discovering new things with this play, uh, with uh, as I'm playing this game for you guys. And then, you know, of course, after I, uh, of course, after I play this, I may have to. All right, mouthful, light bulb mouth. Oh my god, the way he walks is so adorable. <laughs> oh my gosh, the light bulb even makes those sounds. That is that is kind of adorable, not gonna lie. See, I'm trying not to turn on the light, uh, unless I need to. Though I really should. I really just should. There we go. Hey, look, just what I need. Food. It's both in the game, and I wish I had some food in real life right now, right about now. I really need to stop falling. Oh, hey, nice. I'm clipping that. Oh, yep, that's the reason why I don't like turning on the light bulbs, because I don't like those things. Alright, and then... Over this way, it says. Oh, hi. Oh, God, you scared the crap out of me. I wonder. Oh, haha. <laughs> Loser. All right, let's see what's behind here. What? I gotta spit it out. Okay. Now! Haha! <laughs> nice! See, if I mess that... I, I don't even think I got that one either. Um, see, if I had messed that up, I really hope they would give me the ability to retry. 
All right, onward we go. Dang it. Okay, yes. Boom. All right. Oh, I was getting worried there for a minute. Okay, I hear a wildy. Where are you? Are you eat three of the ghost's hidden snacks. I'm guessing they don't mean myself because I'm a snack. I'm cringy also, I know this. Ah ha 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 ha. I think you're sneaky. Oh god. Oh god. Go. Yep. Ooh, all right, that's Waddle D number three. They literally cannot see you unless you have the light bulb on. That is, that's interesting. So instead of dark vision, they have light vision. All right, back to the regularly scheduled funky music. Oh, come on. Oh, that is cool. You can use it to return objects. Yep, wait. You know, you know what? I may play around with Cutter for a little bit. Alright, which one's the... Yep, this is clearly the fake, but... And there is... Ooh, a treasure chest. Okay. What do we have in here? Oh, no, not what I wanted. Wasn't close enough to the chest. I... Wrong. I thought it was Y, not A. All right. Okay. Let's keep going and. Oh. All right. There we go. All right. We all know that's the fake but ow I was not able to get away from that one oh man boing Oh, does that count? Oh, yes, that counts as another one of the ghost's hidden snacks. All right. We also need to find that last waddle -dee as well. Just slide on down. Oh. Okay. Holy. The time crap. I never found this one either. Holy smokes, I never even... Oh my gosh. Oh, well, that was kind of... Okay, come on, where's the... Do I literally have to... Oh, vending machines and soda pops. It's vending machine time. Boing. Oh yeah, I thought there was. Huh, interesting. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Okay, we'll start over here because that's where the coin is. I know a Waddle D, I think, I'm pretty sure a Waddle D will be hidden behind one of these. Yep. 
Destroy 13 aliens by using Bending Mouth. Nice. Okay, part of me wants to pause and see if we 100%, but I'm just gonna get the Wallabies first. No, we didn't 100%. Clear without touching any go ghost gordos. I don't even know what ghost gordos are, so... Uh, that's a Needleless. That is... A Bernard. And that is uh, a Buffahorn. That is uh that's inter that's a interesting name. Alright. I think we have one more level. Yep, there we go. There it is. The Wandaria Dream Parade. Literally just missing one Waddle Oh, hey, look at that. Another, oh, two more treasure roads have opened up. We'll go ahead and save, I think we'll save those for the next episode, uh, depending on how much time we have. Um, it's quiet. Too quiet. You know what? Your ability is now mine. Hippity hoppity, your soul is now my property. Whoa! I, I've played this game before. I've played this level before, and it's and this part, this level still fascinates me. Like I said, I love Wondaria Remains. Like, it is the best um, level in the whole game. Like, it is the best section of levels ever. Changed my mind. Like, I mean, the Brawl at the Mall level is kind of cool. I will admit that. But Circuit Speedway, so much better. You activated my trap card. Alright. Ooh, popcorn. Hang on, little ducky. I'm coming. Follow me, little ducky. Oh, here's another one. Oh, that one's just hanging out with a little sleep guy. Oh, hey. Gotta wait for the little robot things across the street. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Did y'all see that? Those ducks just looked at me like, what the hell is his deal? Oh. Did I? Oh. Oh. Frick. Okay. Oh my gosh. They literally have a trail of baby bottles all the way to the mama duck. That is adorable. I'm missing one again, damn it. Okay, let's uh let's go see where he is. Alright, ducky, come on. Oh, hey. There you are. Follow me. Oh hey, no, wait. Calm down, little ducky. I'm all right. There you are. Nice. All right. Now run like the wind. Oh, come on. Stop steamrolling me. Thought that would be like some sort of. Ow! 
All right, that one they just put right in front of your face. You can't, if you don't get that one. All right, there we go. I don't know if I said this last uh, last episode, but the tornado ability. Oh yeah, I did because I had said that uh, Ninja uh, Ninjago was just uh, Babe uh, Lego trying to capitalize on Beyblades, which are still going strong today. Like I Beyblades are. Whew, I love Beyblades. Uh, I used to I used to have I used to own one back when I was a kid. It was only one though. I only had one. I wanted more, but you know, I couldn't have nice things with my mom. Oh god, nope, 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 nope. Woo! <laughs> Talk about clutch. That's an MLG Pro Gamer moment. Okay, all right, all right, yep. But yeah, Ninjago was totally just Lego trying to capitalize on Beyblades. Um, okay. Five seconds, huh? Why do I have the feeling that there is... Yep, you go cone mouth, and then you break this. I think, all right, so then you press a button and ha 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 ha, sneaky sneaky. They think they could hide that. Let's go, two seconds. That's adorable. Retry? Yeah, no thank you. Got it my first try. Alright, there is Waddle D number two. There we go. That's what I like to see. Yeah, I, that was that was stupid. Why did I do that? Alright, just go through here and Yep. All right. Waddle D. Numeral. Tres. Had to think there for a moment. Ooh. It's it's only one. I only had to remove one wanted poster. Nice. All right. Onwards. Void the alien things. Ah. I said avoid them, not get hit by them. Yep, really? All right. Mouthful mode. Water balloon. Oh, that's right. This weird puzzle thing. Not really, was not really a huge fan of this part, but here we go. Alright, and then we just hop and hop and hop. There we go. Oh, no, wait. I gotta wait for it now. Wait for it now. Dang it. Now, there we go. Yay. And then it looks like that wall could be breakable. So now we go back and we almost got hit by that. And there we go. All right. And then we just run over here and grab the blueprint for the Blur to Tornado ability. Nice. Hey, 
Well, now your volcano fire is now mine. All right, now let's climb up this ladder and probably gonna have, yep, figured. Indiana Jones style. This would have been better with the tornado ability. Okay, train. What? Ah! That was close. Oh, hey, Waddle Dee. Hey, look, last one. Nice. I kind of want, well, once again, kind of want to pause and see. But I think after we climb up here, yep, there's the Waddle Dee, so we'll just wait and see. Da -da 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 Yep, no. Almost. What do we clear without stepping on any mutt, really? The Bronto Burt's. The Gordo Bar. All right. And then, once we exit here, we should be able to tackle the boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remind me that I am literally only missing one. I need to rub it in my face game. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. And there we have Danger Under the Big Top. The Wild Dees helped you open the gate that was blocking the way. Head into the stage and challenge the boss that's guarding this territory. And we have some more treasure roads to tackle on. Nice. But that is all going to have to wait till next episode. Right out, everybody. Once again, that is going to be the end of this episode here. Hope you guys did enjoy, and if you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell to join the notification station. The whole shebang, shaboo, the whole kit and caboodle, if you know what I mean. Once again, the choice is up to you. This is Mathena, signing off. Good boy! Mm -hmm.